as a real estate guy. Rich versus poor, is the economy rigged? I can make millions of dollars and this use the exact... Okay, guys, 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 classic. guys you, know, you know what the answer is to this? You know what the answer is? This is extremely simple. It absolutely is. It is 100%. It's undeniable. And whoever says the opposite is, a, uh, is actually... A dumbass. Guys, that's how it is. The economy is absolutely rigged. Exact same tax loopholes that a Donald Trump would use. Exactly. And pay effectively no tax. And does that make me a bad guy or did I just study the tax code? It makes you a bad guy, yeah. Yeah, yes, it's why I wish uh, in, in, uh, in school, especially in America, we had more classes and, and more introduction to uh, uh, financial uh, literacy before being released to the, to the world, before being uh, put into the adult world. Because it's very, very, very important. And uh, yeah, that's just how it is. Yeah, 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 I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure this is going to be good. Step forward if you Rich, agree. poor. Being poor is a choice. Huh? Absolutely not. What kind of question is that? I do not want to be disingenuous to ignore systemic issues that we all experience, but I feel like it's 2021 and there's a lot of free resources. I mean, Facebook has a lot of free courses. I think that poor is also a mindset. I agree. Originally, when I came out here, I started straight at the homeless shelter. Mm. I had to flee from domestic violence for oh my family. My Most people in general don't choose to be poor, but since I've been here, specifically in LA, a lot of people outside, they don't want to come into the shelter because they'd rather be in the tents. I mean, I grew up poor, okay. so I have been on both sides of the coin, okay. and mm -hmm. I can reflect and look back on some of the lifestyle choices that I was yeah. making, some of the people that I was hanging around. So yeah. I don't think that people can initially control if they're born into poverty, right. but I think that there is a certain level of control that comes along with being a able certain to level. Then, then, then she doesn't agree. Then she doesn't understand the prompt. Guys, th yeah, yeah, I, I, I've told you this before. This is a classic case of a survivorship bias. It's guys, guys, I angled my cards this way and I made it out. Obviously, everybody should make it out because look, I made it out. Dude, chill the fuck out, man. Chill the fuck to out. Take a step, take a step back, be humble. determination and that resilience, yeah. yeah. Can I have the disagree a step forward? We need to realize that these people are on the street not because of their own choosing, but because of the system that we live in perpetuates these things. Yeah, she's if laughing. I can speak to she's, that, she's I come from a family that once relied on welfare and food stamps, and I have been blessed enough to make millions of dollars in real estate, but had I bought real estate from 2005 to 2008, I'd probably be bankrupt today. I just bought at the right time. People wish to be rich, they don't want to be rich. The difference is, do you take action? That being said, I agree with a lot of your points you're making about people not really having the resources or the opportunity to have any kind of action plan. Some people don't even want to be rich. Like, I don't want to be rich. Like, but I also don't want to be poor. I'm happy in the middle. And I would want to live in society where they could perpetuate people to what? live themselves out of poverty through programs and just be in the middle. Billionaires Sir? should not exist. Sir? I just, I don't I... see how anyone could ever- I fundamentally disagree with this spend a billion dollars it's not a necessity to have that much money and i feel like there is a certain cap in which like you can completely survive and thrive with this amount of money and then if you surpass that you're just hoarding and then we've seen what people with billions of dollars are doing with their money they're going to space for fun like right. clearly if we tax those people properly it get their wealth and distribute it to people who need it, that'd be a much better use than going to space for fun. What? What? Even if you were taxed to incentive wazoo, you would still get billionaires though. Guys, you could be taxed 98%. There would still be billionaires. That, how does that do? What the fuck? Personally, I don't think there's an issues with billionaires existing. The issue for me is that they need to be held accountable the same way poor people do. And I'm talking about <coughs> the justice system. When you look at a lot of billionaires who have gotten that way because of the just incredible amount of value they've given to society, I won't even talk about a huge crazy billionaire. I'll talk about Jay-Z, who is a billionaire, 
he made amazing music. That's how he became a billionaire. And so I don't think it's the government's job uh -oh, to interject uh -oh. and say, yeah, yeah, guys, to some of these people in chat, I feel like getting the example of Jay-Z who does entertainment and that in the if people say entertainment is in value and anybody's going to get fucking mauled. I don't think that's the best example. We could okay, have you have too much. We need to give it away. I mean, it would also never happen in any other arena. No one's going to go, hey, Simone Biles, you have too many gold medals. We're going to take them from you and we're going to give them to the other people who weren't as talented as you. I don't think they will. I completely I, agree. Um, I completely disagree. I yeah. feel like that is the government's job. And Jay -Z, like you said, Jay-Z made his money from music. That's his labor. He's a musician. He's selling it. his talent. But then when he invested in the alcohol, then he's using other people who are harvesting the wheat, the agave. They're be breaking their back. They're using their labor. So do you think that you should oh invest God. in those people? Oh should they just God. like say the hell with your dreams? I'm not going to invest in you. I'm, I'm what, saying, what about the job? I'm, what like, do you they're, mean? They're having jobs. Yeah, but how much are they getting paid for the jobs? Are oh, those jobs in the third world where they're getting paid pennies? Yeah, and then Jay Z no makes job. millions what? off their labor. How many? How, how much do you pay your employees? You think, you think harvesting isn't going to exist? <laughs> Jay Z like, doesn't what? invest. If I, if I may interject, I pay my employees like incredibly well, and I let them choose their own hours. Someone who works for me is a single mother. I pay her 50 bucks an hour. And I think that people that are providing jobs and opportunities, you can hate on them all you want, but at the end of the day, like nobody would work that job if it wasn't in some way, shape or form worth it. People who make a billion dollars get a fraction of the value it, they create. It, it, it depends. Okay, okay, okay. In general, it says makes sense, but not all the time. If you, if you specifically choose places that, that have uh, 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 like, like different fucking whatever, right? If you if you if you purposely, does that make does that, am I making sense now? It makes sense, but not all the time, though. Everybody here who has a business understands that. Even Jay Z only no? gets okay. fifteen cents a record he sells. Okay, yes. That's so because yeah, you're making jobs. Let's say you say, oh, you know, what if we went to this country and 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 then put put this amount? Like yeah, but these guys they don't really have the choice though. Like like they'll get whatever. And if you purposely use that fact, that's gonna dog shit though. Uh, but most of them are exploited by the they, record label I agree. using his label no, the, to make money. The same you thing. You keep using this word exploiting like you understand the record business of which I am in. Okay? Record labels back or offer support for and many people don't want to be surrounded by the same problems they're running from while bettering themselves. Sag. Yeah, it's it's hundreds of artists. Do you know how many go busto? Yeah. Okay? They're taking risk in an artist by the tapes, paying the engineers, marketing, et cetera, they're exploiting them, they're taking on a bet. And they can't just give everybody 50-50, they'll go bankrupt. You don't understand the record business and you're just yelling out these words exploiting that's like you know what you're talking about, but yeah, you well, don't. They're, 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 they're not exploiting. This guy just, just clapped this guy. That's why there's press. one Jay-Z <laughs> and not stunned millions of Exactly. Up. I actually want to ask a question yeah. of how you define exploited and why you're saying that. I'm using exploited in the Marxian term where your labor creates value and then your employer takes that value and distributes it unevenly to themselves and then leaves the rest for the workers. That's exploitation. Oh, My okay. name is David. Okay. I work uh, for Disney. And then, then, yeah, so, and, and guys, this, I don't make this political, but you guys say, yep, yes, and some people say question mark, but, but what about the guy who, who takes on, a, a, says, fuck it, takes on a risk to create an infrastructure, to create the system, to, to have the idea behind it, to do the whole thing, and again, employees, to make the thing to make the thing come to life. Shouldn't that person be compensated uh, more, perhaps? I, I don't understand it. If people were willingly really taking that, these jobs at, the, at these pay, the guy who orchestrated the whole fucking, the, the whole orchestra, this guy, what does he get, nothing? I don't get it. In the entertainment character department, and I make around $33,000 a year. How's your experience been working at Disneyland? My experience working at Disneyland is very mixed. The workers themselves, like my coworkers, are amazing people. Unfortunately, the company is not so great. They don't pay us that much. They have enough money to pay us more. I think they should just pay us more. But I don't think they're gonna do that. That's why I'm advocating for a union to bargain in our favor. My name is Ginny Chat. and- Guys, 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 guys. If, 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 you, if you said, if you, if you uh, uh, put the same sort of risk in awarding to the employees when they're getting hired, then the person who orchestrated the whole thing right, did, took the risk, right? They would never take the job. Nobody, nobody would ever take that job, right? Who, 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 who you know, did not getting paid for months, uh, for months, like to see it through and fuck it, dude. Yeah, yeah, of course. Nobody wants to do. Nobody's gonna do that shit. I run a software design agency, 
and this year I'm going to be taking We're take risks. $400,000. When I started my business, that was like all consuming for me. Everything I did in my life was for business. And so I think my partner felt a lot of neglect. And so a lot of our arguments, a lot of the times that we had issues were because of my absence. The economy is rigged. It is rigged, 100%. Everybody should agree on that. Come on now. Hey guys, come on. It is pretty rigged. If you're born in a rich family, you have more opportunities. And as someone who is poor, living paycheck to paycheck, you're stuck having to apply to jobs and settle for things that you don't like instead of being able to follow your passions. I agree and disagree. Um, okay. I agree that it's rigged. Uh, and I also agree and disagree. I think it's, I think it's way more rigged in, in proportions in, in other ways. And advise certain but areas and behaviors like we have millions and millions of farm su subsidies. So it supports agribusiness. Mm -hmm. um, it may support one area like real estate or capital investment over labor. But I, I don't think it's generally rigged to basically keep the rich guy rich and the poor guy poor. That part I'll disagree. But there are certain policies like the reinvestment uh, in productive people's hands for building real estate. I would say that's a good thing. Right? When you say I don't productive think... people, like, do you just mean people with money? No, I mean people that actually take that money, organize people, put it to work, and create value. That's what I mean by productive people. But who creates the value? It's the workers who create the oh value. Oh my God. Listen, there's oh people my, who take risks the and they risk their money. That's creating value. What you discount oh is the person God. willing to risk their savings, okay, and provide capital for that venture and to be paid last. So if it goes busto, the worker still gets paid. The investor doesn't. If it goes well, the worker gets paid and the investor makes money. You discount the role of capital and savings in any type of venture. Like my mom didn't want to be rich. She wanted to be a school teacher Guys. and work and do that and live in the middle ground. Busto man is right. But there are people like me who want to take a lot of risk and get a lot of reward. And we put that capital to work. And you should respect that. Hi, that my name is Bill sense. Perkins. I run a hedge fund, I do investments and other things. I manage my own money. How much I make annually, sometimes I lose money, but I'd say on average over 10 million a year. I took care of my dad in the last years of his life. Um, he died broke. I did not inherit my money. I made it myself. I really don't care about the money. Money is a tool for me to have the experiences that I want to have out of life. And there are many experiences that I want to have. You have to have a certain level of awareness and okay, knowledge to all, know the all. rules comes, of the game. And I think that there are barriers put in place to kind of prevent people from knowing the rules, but I think that it's out there and you can have access to it and it's, you know, I, I, I think that knowing I the agree rules with is you. different. I know the rules and I think they're disgusting. That's why I want to change them. Why don't you them. play the game then? I mean, you can change. I think they're disgusting. Why would I want to play the game? As a real estate guy, I can make millions of dollars and use the exact same tax loopholes that a Donald Trump would use exactly. and pay effectively no tax. And does that make me a bad guy or did I just study the tax code? It makes you a bad guy, yeah. What? You think so? If I'm, you do that, yeah. I'm following the law to a T. The law is wrong, <laughs> yeah. Why is it wrong? It's the but law. I'm not. Is it, you think the, just because it's law, it's always right? No, certainly not. No, certainly. no I, exactly. I'm not saying but that. But that's my point. I'm no, not the law is that, written the, to encourage investment, is which the which they want. So wait, he's yeah. investing. So like this the law is written it. to encourage certain things. If you disagree with it, you can go lobby and change. But he's not a bad guy. I know you mentioned that there are barriers in place that do keep people kind of in impoverished conditions, but I don't think that we all acknowledge like the mental. Well, uh, that's where I was going. So if so, if I can reflect on myself, I mean, I remember when I was living in. Guys, it depends when they talk about loophole. Really about loopholes, guys. It's not like the really bad illegal like like gray area loopholes. Yeah, I think he means like the actual tax loopholes that everybody uses. If you have a, 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 an account or whatever the fuck, they, they use a lot. Of, it's loopholes, but it's not like the, the, like the bad one, like the Poverty. bad dog shit. Um, I was just trying to survive. So I didn't even have the brain capacity to try to, or, or the willpower to kind of even desire to access the rules of the economy. But I mean, I had an epiphany and I literally woke up one day and I was like, I cannot live the rest of my life like this. And I don't care if people call me lame, square, they're gonna question my blackness. I mean, I don't care, I'm getting right. out. Well, speaking about blackness, do you think there's a correlation between what the fuck? The what? What just, what just happened? What, what just happened? Epiphany, and I literally woke up one day and I was like, I cannot live the rest of my life like this, and I don't care if people call me lame, square, they're gonna question my blackness. I mean, I don't care. I'm getting right. out.
well, speaking about blackness, do you think there's a correlation between people from the African diaspora and people of color and poverty? You don't think there's like a relationship there? It's true that, you know, I belong to a community that makes less than certain other communities. Mm -hmm. That's true. Significantly. Significantly less. Um, but you also, you can't, you can't look at differences between groups and say it's only because of systems. Systems played a huge deal to it. I'm not discounting that at all. Like, it's a real big deal and we're working to change that. But also, I mean, statistically, like, people from my old neighborhood and people, you know, around this, in these communities, they spend about 50% more on shoes than people who are not in those neighborhoods. And it's like, man, that... Well, not like, only that, Todd, but I think I looked up a recent statistic that said that Asian households, their children tend to study 13 to oh 15 my. hours a week. We're in a black household. It's like three Spend hours on a shoes. Week. I know you said this. Guys, they have all the, all the opportunities and all the possible examples they could use. And this guy's on shoe. Not like a race. Race and shoes, tough. Race issue, but when you think about the way that we got here Bro. as like African people, it was a race issue. We didn't have a chance to discover America like the other people did. So I feel like, like how you would mention that Asian Americans, they study more than black households. You don't feel like those communities are kind of socialized in their upbringing to be more inclined to care about their finances as opposed to like African Americans, we would rather look rich than actually be rich. I think that's a part of like our community. It's a culture, it's a choice. Well, it's a it's not a it's, I don't, I don't, To a I, certain extent. I think it's, it's a choice. We're I think not, it's we're a, not, we're not. I, think it, I do think it's a choice. I'm not gonna say it's not a choice, but it's I'm saying, do you feel like some people- guys, guys, I don't think they're pulling the race scar into this. I, guys, I, there, there, there is a, a, a genuine problem systematically and with, and with the infrastructure, the way, the way so, so even some laws are infrastructured to, uh, to keep some, some neighborhoods and, and, and some places to not be able to evolve. There's even some stuff that they can even build shit. Like, is it like, like there's something like, like redlining or whatever? Like, it, it, it's something it's some that's fucked, man. People don't have the same choices as other people's in different I communities. Think some people don't have the mental capacity to, uh, to allocate the energy to learn the rules of the game, quote unquote, because their yeah, instincts it's, it's are tough. kicking in to right. just survive. I think trauma plays a heavier role than we like to account for. Trauma is the reason why I'm here. I come from a family, uh, a heavily, cult, Islamic family, and the things that I was doing in my life they didn't agree with, they pretty much sent people to my house to kill me. I was set up multiple times, they hacked my oh social my media God. pages, both my iPhones, you know what I mean? So I don't wanna just kinda ignore trauma as if it doesn't really matter in terms of what you are capable of doing because people that are, Where are we going? traumatized and people that do deal with a lot of oppression tend to get some of their choices removed. I can acknowledge that, yes. My name is Hanifa. Um, I'm an author and I'm currently homeless so I don't make any money right now. I grew up Muslim my entire life and in Islam it is permissible to marry your cousin so my family enforced sexual acts in between cousins. It led to me having to flee my hometown and come all the way to California which is 2,600 miles away just that I can avoid being killed. I've worried where my next meal will come from. Me and my partner right now are applying for EBT Yo. because we are just like living check to check right now. Guys, and guys, I'm supporting. I mean, like, like once or it's happened in the past, like in your lifetime, I think. Both of us, because she just lost her job, we are like literally trying to get help from the government so that we can know that we have the funds to get groceries. It's so hard, and it's it feels like. It feels like it's not as accessible as people make it seem. <laughs> to have everything stripped away from you and to not know where you're going to sleep. <laughs> it's just very difficult. You know, it almost feels like a past life of having like everything. You know, I had bags. I had to take my little Michael Kors back to the pawn shop, take every item of clothing that I had to Plato's closet so that I could buy a one-way ticket for myself and my child. I didn't know what we were gonna eat. I didn't know where we were gonna sleep and not to be a victim, but it's not my fault why I'm here, you know? It's because I speak out against cult behavior. I speak out against pedophilia and publishing my story has the uh, domino I'm, effect I'm, of that I, has I led me to trouble, not knowing uh, where I'm gonna eat and I've never had that happen to me before prior to four months ago. And that's just really tough. Thank you for sharing your story. That's really powerful and um, yeah, like if you need help, like after this, let's just let's just talk. That pulls on my heartstrings because I, 
My mother raised us three kids by herself, and my father was a wife beater. He was also a child molester, so anyone mm. listening can connect the dots on that. Mm. I feel for you. I almost want to jump out because it was only a short period of time, you know, and just that short period of time when you're busted or whatever, and you're just this like, guy's like, he, he like, this guy's like, like busting. Real, Bust it. Really, you guys were in the trenches. I, I visited the trenches for like a couple of years. I had a toe, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Had a toe, had a toe in the trenches. trenches. You know? So I'm, I'm getting paid paycheck to paycheck. And on top of that, I have a crippling gambling addiction. I'm addicted to weed. I'm addicted to alcohol. I'm addicted to vaping. And as soon as I have that direct deposit, it's like I have no control. Almost like I go, like I black out and I start gambling, start ordering drinks, start ordering weed. and. And then I come out of that no control feeling and I'm like thinking, how am I gonna feed my pets this week? My cat, my dog, like I had all these plans up to my payday. Before I know it, all my money's gone. And it's addiction. When you're in a position when you don't have a lot of money, you can't do a lot of things for fun. And you're often just like working, working, working. I have to survive, I have to feed myself. And so when you get that paycheck, and you have just a little bit of enough money to do something that will spark joy for you, it's so hard to be like, no, I'll put it aside to save. It's like, I'll just do this one thing for myself. I'll just treat myself. And then it's like, ah, it's well, now it's, now it's gone. Now, I completely understand yeah. what you're saying. And I used to think like that too, but I also thought about how joyful it would be to be rich. I would rather not have that instant gratification because the gratification of being infinitely stable or more stable is uh, more important. My name is Brittany. I am a holistic health practitioner and I make around $130,000 okay. a year. My relationship with my brother has literally crumbled since I have acquired more money. He only calls me when he needs something. The only person that I really have a relationship with is my mom. I haven't spoken to my brother. Um, I want them to be happy and, you know, and successful more than anything, but it almost feels dehumanizing to be looked at as just the help and not a sister or a cousin or something like that, yeah. My name is Mia and I'm currently working as a customer service representative for a moving and storage company. I make 45K a year. My family has always been like, oh, you gotta look presentable, you gotta look nice whenever we're going out to eat or to the mall. But as an adult... Yo, I know we parents you for working, but saying that 130K a year isn't rich, it's very normal. Dude, you're, you're wrong, dude. I don't know, I know what's what wrong with this chat these days. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Some of the things that you guys have, Man, open up a fucking a fucking book or some shit, or Google what is the average median salary in certain areas, and try to compute the fucking cost of cost of life, and and, and average rent in certain area, motherfucker. Dude, guys, if you're if you're out of school and you're like 25 and you're making like 60k, you're balling, dude. You you you've been popping off, dude. That's how it is, man. Well, you know, a lot is of my money an absurd isn't going money. towards buying new clothes or jewelry, makeup, whatever it might be. So you'll catch me in like sweats and a t-shirt and I just don't feel presentable enough to be at the mall, to be at a restaurant. Because of that embarrassing feeling and shame of not investing more in, in how I present myself. Okay, guys, yeah, people say 45K is not poor. Guys, you guys, you guys, this is LA. It is LA. 40, 45k, motherfucker, you're not getting shit. You're, you're not getting shit. The disagree. You're just hanging out back there. <laughs> you know, I feel like I misunderstood the prompt. So have you ever worried okay, about where your next meal is going to come from? Just ever. once. Oh, no, I definitely have, like, when I was in college. 45k, where I come from? Quebec, motherfucker, you Quebec, you're making 45k? You're balling out, motherfucker. You're out here, motherfucker, eating caviar and shit. 45k in LA, you're on fucking, you is on fucking food stamps. Man, you is on, you're on food stamps, 100%. And uh, the lady behind me ended up paying for me, for me, and it's so embarrassing because my car got maxed out and I had no money in the bank account, basically. $15 an hour is not enough for minimum wage. Depends, depends on the area. Depends on the area. F 50, I, 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 I did have a question for you two. You both mentioned Most that you suffer time, no. from addiction and that as soon as you get a paycheck, it's gone, whether it's gambling or weed or shopping or whatever. If you had a higher income, would that change? Personally, yes, because the whole reason I gamble is like, let me get that $60,000 win and I'll stop gambling. That's my mindset, right? 
And another thing is I feel like if I were to have like passive income, I guess you can say, or be financially stable, I can pursue and distract myself with my actual passions. Like I want to start a true crime YouTube channel, but I don't have the laptop. I don't have the camera. The addiction takes control. So I don't think about the things I don't have. And I just yeah, feel yeah. this is the most book, book, book thing I've heard in the longest time. Numb and thoughtless. And I'm just enjoying my TV. And so, yeah, I feel like it would change. I would be able to have other distractions that are beneficial to me in a positive way. If you had more money, you could probably have access to help like medical. Yes. Yeah, exactly. You know, psych yeah. psychiatrist. Because that's, totally. that's really expensive and you can't afford it living off of minimum wage, you know? I feel like a lot of jobs will pay minimum wage, but they will expect maximum effort. Yeah. And I've, I'm like, if you're gonna pay me minimum wage, I'm putting in the bare minimum effort. I've always looked at it the opposite way. Like if I go into a company and they're paying me minimum wage, I do everything that I can to get promoted. Guys, Hi, my name is- Guys, you know what, Chad? I'm gonna go ahead and agree with this, okay? Guys, this is just modern type of- Vision crash? I tried to lower uh, OBS and I almost crashed it. Guys, guys, I agree with this chat that, that uh, fucking companies are like min max, fucking full capitalism, dude. Like, dude, we want the most out of you and give you the bare minimum. I understand it. And, and I just think it's, it's dog shit. And, of course, of course, I'm against that because it's because it's trash. But I feel like I feel like at, at all times it's 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 a good mindset to not only see uh, uh, the work as like the money. I know I don't want to be out of touch. Okay, I've always seen all my jobs before. Okay, what am I getting out of this? What am I learning? What what am I putting? Is this something that I'm proud of or whatever? Am I am I bringing value to a point where uh, oh yo can I can, can I get a promotion or whatever? Can I can I can I can I boom? It, am I evolving as a person? And sometimes that this might it kind of helps you uh, get to other places that that will end up having a, be, a, a better salary. But I feel if you get into these patterns saying, "Oh, I'm getting minimum," that I'm doing minimum, right? I feel like you're losing for them, the, the employers, which is which is whatever. But you're also losing for you. I think that's the most it's damaging. Todd, I think I that's the most damaging part. I'm 29 years old. I'm a real estate investor and a YouTuber, and I make about 1.4 million dollars per year. When you grow up the way I did with no money and your mom is struggling and crying herself to sleep every night because you can't pay the bills, that takes a toll on you as a kid and seeing that struggle. I got my first job when I was 12 years old, um, literally shoveling horse poop for $3 an hour. And I looked at myself when I was 12 years old and I was like, you've got to make a million dollars a year by the time you're 30. My name is Sean, I'm 23 years old. I'm a musician and content creator and I make minimum wage at a retail job. If I wasn't having to work every day to pay my rent, then I would have more time to make music and connect with people and find venues to perform my music. And if I had the money, I would be able to market and promote my music so that it could reach a wider audience. For me, my mindset is right? working minimum wage is always temporary. Makes it's sense. always been yeah, like... This is what we will call a hobby and a plan B, uh, like a plan B or like a... Um, yeah okay, we work minimum wage, but we're going to work harder to get promoted, and then we're going to do something else with our lives. Many, many, many years ago, you could go live off the land. You didn't have to work for somebody in order to survive. All the land is taken. It's in federal land. You can't go fishing in these federal streams. You can't do that. So that's not possible at scale. In order to survive, you must work for someone else. That forces wages down. Right? People can't just go, F you, I'm not gonna work, I'm gonna chill and work on my novel or do whatever. Okay, so that's the part where I agree with you and like, I'm a supporter of UBI so that people aren't forced to work. Now where I disagree is that we don't pay people based on what they need. And you were kind of pointing to this, I give the minimum effort if you pay me minimum wage. But there's certain jobs that are not worth $15 an hour, just uh, frankly bestful. not worth it. I think you learn a lot working it. You don't think you learn, you intake a lot of information and patterns and then you grow at, when, when you work. The same way as a school. You don't agree with your, with your, the way you have to go to school? You don't agree with the, with the system? Oh, they, uh, yeah, you have, to, you have to go to the degree, you have to do this, this. Yeah, I understand, I'm, I'm also with you. I, I think also school is the, is the dog shit. The problem is that school, you also intake a lot of uh, it, patterns about, about discipline, communication, organizing, structuring, 
and you you get a lot of things that help you a crazy amount. And whenever I'm sure some of you guys, I go drop out of school, and whenever I lose that tense that, that that structure, whatever, it all falls apart. It it, it falls down to a crisp. It helps a lot, dude. It is what it is. Maybe they're worth five. Maybe they're worth two. I want you to watch TV for an hour in your house and tell me how many commercials come up because I'm doing a survey. I want to pay you seven dollars an hour. You think I should be I have to pay you fifteen dollars an hour for that? Or would you take seven dollars an hour to sit on your couch and count commercials that show up on a television? I think. It's... I mean, yeah, I would take any money. <laughs> okay, I, I, so everybody okay. here agreed that it should be fifteen dollars an hour minimum wage. Yeah. But by making the wage fifteen dollars an hour, you just eliminated a job that he's willing to do. More money, more problems. I'm going to go ahead and disagree. More money, more problems, but that's a path that I'm willing to take on because the problems that come along with not having money, um, I can't imagine going back there. I made it a no, point no, to that, position. This is a, cla this is a classic uh, a, a fucking a triangle, the, the, um, the, the triangle of needs, the, the pyramid of needs. What is it called again? The Maslow's pyramid of needs or whatever, right? This is a classic, this is a classic thing. Even though, yes, you do have, a, let's say, more problems when you have more money. I, I get it. These problems are much easier or, 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 or maneuverable than not being able to fucking eat enough to not starve to have a roof over your head and clothes over your fucking body. These problems are much more manageable than the ones that you need that make you fucking survive, dude. Myself, That's how it is. Um, adjacent to people who I felt like I could learn from. I remember parking my little Chevy Cruze up um, off of Griffith Observatory in Hollywood Hills just to be around money. Okay, lady, you said what? Um, adjacent to a point to position myself um, adjacent to people who I felt like I could learn from. I remember parking my little Chevy Cruze up um, off of Griffith Observatory in Hollywood Hills just to be around money. You guys mind if I start? Yeah, okay. A lot of the problems in my life. I, I, I don't want to judge too much. But I think she has this, this incredible survivorship bias out the fucking wazoo of like, guys, I made it. You guys, go ahead and make it, man. If you don't, it's your fault, brother, man. Like, I popped off. You can do the same, bro. It's like if I say like, to you guys, 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 I made it as a streamer. Turn on your broadcast. Otherwise, you deserve to be poor because fuck you. You're not doing the efforts, man. What the fuck is that, dude? I got lucky. Everybody gets would like, be what the fuck solved lucky, with just, not even if I was rich, but just like a little bit more money, I would just have so much less stress and less things to worry about. And I wouldn't be finding myself in these situations where I'm worried about how am I going to pay rent? How am I going to get gas to drive? How am I going to eat? More money, like more social responsibility, mm -hmm. right? Going back to- What does that mean? Like oh, if you're a no. billionaire, then it's, you have social responsibility to take care of people who might have less than you. Really? Employee. I'm not seeing that. In, 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 in modern you day life. You have billionaire beef. In, you got in a my, billionaire modern day beef. life, what are billionaires yeah, doing? I want to add real quick to what you were saying that I have my first felony when I was 14 years old. I had gotten a DUI in 2018, so I was still going in and out of courthouses. I'm struggling trying to get a job, applying, getting interviews, getting a job offer, background check, offer rescinded, and that hurts a lot. But I'm over here watching The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and Yolanda Hadid's daughter just so happens to also get a DUI, but she's taking off in her modeling career like it was just a hiccup. I'm also seeing cases of affaluenza, where this kid driving his dad's truck drunk killed, killed someone, and he gets off for affluenza, which it's means like you're too rich to know what's good or bad, so you don't get any oh, repercussions. Oh, I've never. Yeah, so it was in me, Hollywood too. I, I I agree with my punishments. I I messed up, and I will accept it. But you want it to be fair treatment. Exactly, because yeah, when I time. see that, it's just slap in the face, like, what is the, the justice system? That's not justice. Listen, I like the song, More Money, More Problems. I like it too. It's, it's a jam. I love but the song. It's really more money, different problems. Yes. And that's a cut. Okay. We did it. That's a wrap. What do you, what do you Interesting. Do you? Oh, we don't call it. No, we don't call it. Interesting. Okay, boys. The money goes to the guy who has the balls to make the first move, not the one who works harder. Okay, Owners do not Gu guys, take this is limited liability. If the company goes bankrupt, they don't. 
that risk asymmetry just makes capitalism unfair for employees and counterparties to the company.